Hello, I heard everyone here with more Nameless, and I'm trying to uh, fix my awful decisions. Uh, someone should hurry and go ahead, otherwise the conflict in this class won't end. Since Yanho stood up to volunteer, it'd be best for him to go. Ben, Yanho, thanks. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's so small. The papers will crush him. <laughs> yeah. Yanho stuck by Lance's side and left the classroom. As the two left, the class became sorted for a second. Oh man. The students all whispered. It purposely said out loud so I could hear. When the whispers were about to get louder, so we shouted out loud. A girl talked back, and awkward silence followed that. So I'm thankful, but everyone was silent, but they were all still staring at me. It really felt like sitting on thorns. Later, when Yanho and Lance returned with the sheets, the class continued. Now we're teaching. It's gonna call me a maid. I'm gloomy. Even after class, Yuri didn't say anything much. Besides, other kids were still focusing on me. So I had to stop myself from asking about the hairpin. I'll ask when I get home. Today's dinner is ramen. Yeah, good old ramen. Yanho and Red are happy. That's all I need. Oh, let's, let's press the skip button. I'm sure it's fine. Yuri and I have our combo. Oh, yeah. And to say I'm fine, don't care about me. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm fine, so don't care about it. I'm really fine. The girls will stop someday, I guess. I am honestly a bit upset, but I just have to laugh it off. I don't want the other boys to be upset because of me. What is? Your frown. What? Yuri strokes his chin seriously. Yuri told me he likes me with a serious face. I know it doesn't mean anything, but my heart's beating fast. Yuri? Yuri looked around the room and said, What? Go out where? So go with all right. Where are we going? <laughs> the eloping. Now we are back here. Closed my eyes and thought about Yuri. No, but the rest of the boys are worrying about Yuri's attitude. Always lighthearted. Yuri stepped closer, I stepped back. Not falling for your tricks. M mad. Oh no, things are looking the same. 
don't like it. I don't like everything. Hate everything you're doing, Yuri. I wish you would just just move out of here and, and, and never see me again. <laughs> Look shocked. Like, well, fine, but I guess I will move away. Goodbye. Mm, no good. Press the skip button. Yuri's like, I'm out. See ya. <laughs> All right, we're still in game over. <laughs> oh boy, how many times am I gonna do this before I figure out the right way to do it? I refuse to look at a walkthrough. I will figure it out. All right, I'm still, I'm still gonna refuse here. I feel like that conversation was good. Hopefully. <laughs> And then, we'll just say, it's, it's too hard. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know how to use this properly. I can barely make a call because the touch screen is too difficult. Still need more time to get used to something new. Come to think of it, I never get used to f new things easily. You didn't have to. Alright. So he grinned and shook my phone. There were so many posts, they filled up the whole screen. What's all this? He talks a lot anyways. He must talk a lot on Twitter too. Oh, class started. I'll figure it out later. <laughs> Feel sick just by watching the screen scrolling. I turned it off and put him put it in my pocket. Yeah, I don't feel like that was the right choice at all. <laughs> but what, whatever. Just make, just do all the choices. <laughs> it's fine. Let's see. Right. Ah, uh, yes. I go back to an empty house. Uh, let's press that skip button. Nuri comes in. I'm in spider scene. Let's see. And say, I'm um, okay. <laughs> Stay still. I have like no logic to what I'm choosing now. <laughs> I'm just picking at random at this point. Um. Yeah, I'll go. <laughs> I'm fine. Don't don't worry about me. All right, this time I'll be like, N now is not a great time. It's kind of late. I don't think it's a good idea to go out right now. Can't we just talk here? We don't need fresh air. I can't refuse his plea. He was too adamant, and I couldn't hold out any longer. Well, if he's asking me like that, I guess the front yard will be okay. Alright, but we have to be quick, okay? Yuri nodded. He then opened the door and escorted me. What's up, buddy? Thinking about Yuri. How I hate everything about him. <laughs> Got so much resentment for everything you do, Yuri. 
I hate everything you do. So now I'm gonna yell at you about okay. it. So burp, 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 burp. Press that skip button because I'm gonna get that game over again. <laughs> Alright, now that, now that I did all the choices, I'll try and take this semi-seriously and make actual decisions. Alright. Uh, <laughs> I'm still, like, at a loss for how to treat these choices. Like, should... Like... Okay, so... The reason bad end happens is because I resent everything that he does, and so maybe I should try to be more accepting of what he does, and so I take it? Or do I refuse to let him know how, what I think? I don't know. I don't know. We'll just, just, just take it this round. <laughs> no. Let's see, uh, tell me Yuri's username. Hey, Yuri. Um, okay. I think I'm just gonna be making. <laughs> Alright, you want know uh, I'll stay still this time. Hmm? Oh, I thought something different was happening for a second. When it skips, will it stop if I make- if I get to new text? Because usually it does, but... When I made a new choice that one time, it- just kept on skipping, so I don't know. Um, Yanho, you you go. Let's see, see what Dad does. <laughs> um, I go off the. I'm fine, cause when I said let's talk about something else, I seemed like kind of. Like, really passive-aggressive about everything, while the I'm fine is, like, you know, I'm trying to be genuine about it. At least I think that's how I took it. Um, and I don't go with all right. Alright, the apology gift. Everything's the same still. <laughs> Yuri, how do I date you? <laughs> Tell me what you need from me. <laughs> what he needs me to not hate him. <laughs> and he's leaving me again. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Alright. This time... This time I'll play hard to get. Even though I'm already hard to get. <laughs> Whatever. Refuse. I don't want your muffins. Uh, let's see. Um, I feel like I should have Yuri's username. Because that's what gets me looking at the Twitter. And I see the post. And then I'm like... Oh, he does think about things sometimes, <laughs> or something like that. And I'll be like, no, I won't go. Um, hmm, I'll, I'll, I'll stay still.
Um. I'll go. <laughs> I like have no idea what to do for these choices. I haven't been like so lost for what choices I'm supposed to make in a visual novel since like dating Shane in Asagao Academy. I had to do that route so many times to try and get the best one. Um, I'll go with the I'm fine again. Ugh. Quick save. Be like, right now is a bit, like, not great. Oh! You're dragging me out of a house. Stop skipping, but night wind was cold. Did I, did I do it? It was pretty late, so the road was quiet. Wow, I see stars. Things are different! Oh good, <laughs> I figured it out. I said while looking at the night sky. It's hard to see stars in the city these days. But the sky was clear today and I saw a lot of tw twinkling- I saw a lot twinkling away. Gary stood by me as I exclaimed at the stars. He stood there without saying anything for a while, but soon opened his mouth. Huh? For what? Oh. I know. A lot of things happened in between. Surprisingly, Yuri became a teacher at the academy, bought a limousine, and bought everyone's smartphones. It only seems like yesterday, but it's already been a month. Maybe time is flying by so fast because I'm having so much fun with the boys. Huh? Yuri was holding on to an expensive looking box. I couldn't tell what was in the box he was holding with both hands. What's that? Oh. I taught him something. Yuri held out the paper box and he opened the lid. Inside was. Heels? The pretty heels sparkled in the night sky. But why is he showing me these? Yuri sat me on a bench nearby. <gasps> oh, a picture! Yay! I'm so happy! And he slowly kneeled in front of me. Y Yuri? He lowered himself. Yuri was looking up towards me. Like a knight waiting to carry out a sacred ritual, Yuri looked at me seriously, and he laid out a shoe in front of me. He lifted one side of my feet. Huh? Yuri took off the shoe I had on. His touch was so soft I couldn't help but let him handle my foot. Yuri softly held my foot and gently put on the heel. Yuri looked up at me. I've never seen his eyes look so deep. I just sat there, completely defenseless. It felt like I was being sucked into his eyes. Yuri even changed how he spoke. Yuri's face was reflected in the moonlight and glistened. Yes. Yuri asked me out for a second time. Feeling, feeling flustered, I saw the elegant heel on my foot. It was a stylish and elegant design. But more than that, Yuri looked more, much more wonderful. Ooh, what should I say? Gonna save. Um, boop. Yeah, let's go on the date. Yes, I'll go out with you. <laughs> Yuri smiled and looked at me. I really felt like a princess right now. Can I really take these? The heels Yuri gave me fit me perfectly. Seeing the label, I thought it must be a, it must be as pricey as the dolls. In other words, it wasn't something anyone could just buy. But Yuri smiled at my worried face. <laughs> His heart. I thought he didn't listen to what I said. He shined in the moonlight. 
It was late, but thanks to the moonlight, I could see his face clearly. He was beautiful as always. No, he looked more attractive than usual, but I felt as if his eyes were shaking a bit. I knew from his eyes that he wasn't just joking around as he always did. As he said, Bichu's really had his heart in it. I've never seen Yuri be so serious. Yuri didn't approach me and just stared. He was like a knight or a prince from a fairy tale. Did Cinderella feel like this when she met her prince? My heart pounded. The cold night wind somehow felt warm. Yuri took out the other pair, and he put it on my other foot. Okay, oh! I leaned a bit towards him and tried to stand up. I faltered a bit, not used to the heels. I hurriedly grabbed onto his shoulder so I won't fall. Yuri smiled to see me stumble. Oh, whoops. I tried to stand up properly with Yuri's help. These were my first pair of heels. It was just a new pair of shoes, but I felt completely different. Wow, so high. I feel taller. They are a bit uncomfortable, but they aren't bad. I feel like an adult. They're pretty. They are pretty. Really pretty. I look at the shoes, feeling a bit touched. Yuri grinned to see me like that. All that's left. <laughs> I thought Yuri was being too serious. Yuri will always be Yuri. But these shoes, aren't they really expensive? How did you get the money? I felt curious about the shoes again. I raised my head. Did he buy it, using someone else's money again? If that's the case, I don't really want to take them. Regardless if his heart is in it. Huh? Yuri smiled as if asking me... Oh, what? Well, oh, jeez. Just a second, Yuri is skip stuff. Um, Yuri smiled as if asking me if I still don't get it. Huh? What's he talking about? Your your first paycheck? You mean he bought these with his paycheck? I was surprised. He worked hard for that money. Aww. Yuri, I think this is the first time Yuri moved me for the first time, and I was touched a lot. Using his first paycheck to buy me a gift, I didn't know he thought of me this much. Huh? I doubted my ears. Yuri apologized to me sincerely. I looked at him, a bit surprised. I thought I'd never... I thought he'd never apologize and just say it was all because of his beautiful face. But if I heard right, he definitely, he's definitely apologizing to me for that limo incident. As I stayed silent, Yuri looked at the front door, and he immediately erased the sincere face he had when he apologized. Oh, whoops. I need to stop skipping their lines. I relaxed as Yuri exaggerated again. This was more like the Yuri I know. The house is right there. As I grumbled a little bit, Yuri smiled softly. The high heels were still uncomfortable, so I carefully headed home. Yuri escorted me until I took off uh, took off my shoes in the house. Yuri told me goodnight with a sweet voice. Sweet, buttery voice. I came back to my room, organized the heels, and put the hairpin on my desk. I looked at those unfamiliar objects. The hairpin Yuri bought and my first pair of heels glistened silently. Before I knew it, I had two more meaningful things. Even after burying myself in bedsheets, I couldn't stop thinking about Yuri's sincere face. My pounding heart didn't calm down for a while, too. Yay! That was so nice. So glad <laughs> that I wasn't trapped in that game over screen for like 30 minutes. Ooh.
어덜트라인의 이유를 만나보십시오. 섬세하고 성숙한 페이스가 보이시나요? We're gonna get some Yuri backstory in the next episode. All right, so I hope I see you then as we get into some some juicy details. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, see you in the next episode. Bye.